Okay, so we are going to go to Namecheap.com in order to purchase your domain name. I used to buy all my domain names from GoDaddy just because of their advertising and they seem so prevalent, but they entice you to buy a domain for like 99 cents for the first year. And then the renewal process on the following years were quite expensive. And I got a little tired of the constant upsell during the checkout process. And after reading a really great article about Namecheap and all of its benefits in the Wall Street Journal, I decided to bring all of my business to Namecheap.com. And I suggest you buy your domain name from them, Namecheap here. The first thing we're going to do is sign up for an account here at Namecheap because we want to take them up for this 98 cent offer for the first year. And the second year is only going to be like $8.98. This is when we sign up and purchase a domain for two years, which is certainly reasonable. So we're going to go up here to the sign up link at the top. And here you just type in your desired username. It'll let you know as you type whether it's available or not, your name. You're going to type in your password. Any password that you want to use. Here you'll see all passwords must contain at least eight characters. So just make sure you follow their rules here on passwords. You'll type in your name, first name, last name, and your email address. And then I usually deselect this. This is up to you to sign up for Namecheap's newsletter and marketing communications. I'm just overwhelmed with email, so I always deselect that. And I'm going to click Create Account and Continue. Okay, so once you've created that account, you land into your dashboard here. So the first thing we want to do is search for your next domain down here at the bottom. Now I suggest that you give a bit of thought to your chosen domain name. I suggest that you use your name followed by the words either realty or real estate, of course, .com, or a descriptive series of words that define your farm area, like newportbeachliving.com. Just be sure to give it enough thought so that you have a descriptive domain name that explains who you are and what you do or the farm area that you specialize in. So I'm just going to type in my great company name.com. I'm assuming this is going to be available and I'll click on the search icon and you'll see it is available. Now we created our account because we see that for 98 cents for the first year, you get a .com for 98 cents and save money when you register for two years. That's what we're going to do. So we just want to make sure we use the 98.com promo code when we go to checkout. So let's go ahead and click on add to cart. They're going to charge us 98 cents and then 8.98 for the following after we type in the promo code. And I'm not going to add any of these add-ons. None of these are necessary for what we're doing in this program. I'm going to click on check out and you'll see here for one year it's going to be $8.98 but we're going to go for two years and enjoy that savings and you'll see it's not updating here because we have to put in the promo code. Now this promo code when you go to activate may be different so just be sure to check that little area before you check out so that you have a current promo code and I'll click on apply and we can see that now it's just charging me $14.96. There's a, a fee for the ICANN, which is the, uh, here, if we click over here, it says the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers charges a mandatory annual 18 cents for each year. So that's the difference between the $14.96 for two years and the $15.32 that it's actually charging us. So we're going to just go through here and confirm our order and we'll fill out this information. And I'll just type in my address here. And I'll click continue. Okay, so it's going to give you all of your information. You'll just confirm it here. 
we're going to leave this alone, leave associate this domain and, and enable time of purchase because we're getting free domain privacy when we uh, buy this domain name. And that's basically so if somebody goes to uh, look to see who owns this domain name that I'm buying, it doesn't say Don Bassler at 123 Main Street. They, all of this information gets hidden and that's on the back of this domain privacy that Namecheap gives for free. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And now you enter your credit card information and you'll just fill this out here with the name on the card, your card number. You can use this as a default account for the future, remembering this card for later use. You can use PayPal. And then you also have down here, it says renewal settings for your purchase. You can automatically renew all of my eligible services for expiration. I suggest that you check that and then just leave all of this uh, alone and then you will automatically be charged and never have to worry about renewing your domain name. Once you do so, you can save the configuration above from my default payment settings if you want and then just click continue and once you finish this process, you'll be sent an email confirming the purchase of your new domain name.